Hi, I'm Lisa Christensen of sunny San Diego, and I am here at Villa Conte in Faolia, Italy. <laughs> and I am so excited to be here with Gabrielle. Coglianese. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and Christiane Muller. And you've noticed some of the pictures that are incorporated into this are really quite amazing. And if you've noticed in a lot of the pictures that I've posted here and there and just throughout the website and the uh, internet and Facebook and the different things, you'll notice that I've got a lot of pictures with horses and this is because I grew up with them. And I've always been very blessed to be able to just hold out my hand and have um, a horse come up and we were just talking about this and I don't know why and so you're going to tell me why they do that. So they, they come up to me and I have a, a very easy time for to you know for them to come up and to just to be able to do this and sometimes they'll kind of oh, I don't know about that yeah, I don't think that's such a good be idea careful, yeah <laughs> and then we'll stand there and I will look at each other for a minute it's almost like we're making a connection and then they decide okay well maybe that was okay I don't mind and so then I can go back up and do this a little bit more and they're okay with this and I've never understood why but I've never ever in all of my whole life I've never had a horse allow me to do what I did today in the pictures that you'll see on this video to where I've, I've never been able to just go up and and do this and hold it and be able to give the horse a kiss and yeah, um, it's really a simple thing, really, because if you're going to stretch out, if you hold this for oh, me yes. one second, so if you stretch out both hands to horse, yeah, yes. and you try to grab him, you're going to, uh, how is it, The horse is feeling restricted. Yeah, exactly. The horse feels re restricted, yeah, mm -hmm. and wants to go out of this situation. So if you can put your both hands around the horse, and then just with a light touch, yeah, you, like you would um, uh, a caress, how you say? Yes, oh, like, um, yeah, yes, like a gentle... Um, Touch. Yeah. yeah, so you can ask the horse to come towards you. Mm -hmm. But the moment you're going to give too much pressure, mm -hmm. the horse is going to pull away or goes... Normally he goes into pressure. Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you touch hard, mm -hmm. the horse would come to you. Ah. Yeah, because he goes into pressure. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's his... Sometimes, the most of the time, it's a bad thing because if you have a horse standing on your foot and you want to try to push him away, it doesn't go away. It pushes more on your foot. So a lot like people. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> we were talking about that too, about the eye contact. Oh yeah. And how you know when in a confrontational situation, yeah. it's the first one who moves their eyes, eyes. they lose. Yeah, in uh, with horses normally, or when you look a horse in into the eye, you tell him to go away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and this comes from the nature because if a predator goes to hunt, mm -hmm. he needs to focus on one um, one prey. So he focuses on this and looks him into the eye and says, "Oh, I just need to to get you." And the horse learned, ooh, if somebody looks in me in my eyes, I need to run away. Okay. Yeah. And so they see us as a predator. Oh yeah. Because we are We're uh, so tiny. <laughs> uh they don't see really the difference because you have also lion like um, wild dogs and stuff. Mm. They hunt hound they hunt yes. in groups. Mm -hmm. So oh. maybe it's one small one, but if they're in ten, they're a much bigger group, yeah. And how we are built, like eyes more frontal, uh, shoulders square, up high, it's a sign of uh, predators, yeah? Right. Like the um, prey animals, they have their eyes more sideways, mm -hmm. so they can see all around, the, the whole way around, mm -hmm. so they know if somebody is coming in. I remember, and this is something else we were talking about earlier, when um, I was standing on the horse for my brother, when yeah. I when my brother asked me to stand on the horse, and I first thought, oh, I don't know, this, <laughs> this is such a good idea. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous stuff. I didn't know this. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea. <laughs> um, so, what, what made it 
possible that I was so um, blessed that the horse did not move. Um, I know for me, I felt it took a minute uh, to feel trust for the horse that he wasn't going to move. And um, once I, I, I thought, okay, I'm ready, I can do this, and had my center, you know, and my core got confident, um, and I was able to stand up. What was it about the horse that decided this was a good idea to stand still? Yeah, um, first of all, you need to have your self, you need to be confident to, in doing things, yeah, and have trust, and trust is not just to trust and do it, but you need really to feel it, yeah, so you, horse are really sensitive, and they can feel fear, if you want, like this, and this also came, comes again from the nature, because in nature, if they live in a herd, you have uh, some horses, they may be graze, other horses they are like um, yeah like lookouts yeah ah. so they're checking out if some some something is coming if they see something they need just to look at it and a lot of stuff happens in the body if you get a little bit nervous so you see something I'm not sure what it is maybe the adrenaline raises uh, heart mm -hmm. beat raises sweat and a lot of more and the horses around them, they can sense it. Mm -hmm. They need to sense it. Kind of like people. <laughs> exactly. It's really similar. And so if you can, if you are confident in yourself mm -hmm. or in what you do, you can transmit it to the horse. And there is a really, a lot of funny stories if you want like this, yeah? There are um, some crazy horse, or one crazy horse out in the pasture, mm -hmm. and nobody can clo go close to this horse, yeah? Because mm -hmm. he would strike out and do a lot of stuff. And then it's this father who tells the story that he was around, outside of course of the pasture, and his uh, boy, I think six or seven years old, went just in this pasture. And he didn't see that the boy went in, or his son, mm -hmm. and he went just close to the horse and started to give him a rub and stuff. And the horse was easy, he did nothing. And this is also your intention, mm -hmm. yeah? So if you show, you want to catch a horse in the, in the pasture, and you say, oh, I'm going to catch you, you're no. never ever going to catch the horse. <laughs> a good thing what Monty Roberts says, never catch your horse, but uh, let the horse catch you. Yes. <laughs> it's the easy way to do it. <laughs> yes. And see, and we were talking about how that's so much like people. And the reason that I wanted us to be able to have this conversation is because that's the one thing that we noticed in our conversation earlier with the psychology of the horse and the psychology of people yes. is so much the same. And the process that we take them through is very much the same, same, very similar. Yeah. Um, so what I'm understanding is because I was trusting the horse and I was not afraid, then he was trusting me to not be up to no good. good. Okay. So he knew that everything was okay. Yeah. And that's why he let me stand up yeah. and stayed still yeah. for me. Now there was one thing very important, more important than anything else I've asked that I need to know. I've been telling my friends, I've been calling home to America, that everybody is so relaxed here, everybody is so happy, and even when things turn upside down, or maybe, uh, how do, what do you call when things don't go right, um, the, everybody has this very relaxed, ah, oh, it's okay, attitude, and earlier you told me something that really... I just would love to share with everybody. I would love to share with the whole world. So can you share that with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, that was a thing what my father told me, yeah? Mm. And so what he said, if you have a problem, yeah, you know you can't solve this problem. So there is no chance that you can solve the problem. The problem doesn't exist because <laughs> you can't solve it. So throw it away. <laughs> if you have a problem, maybe you're going to solve somewhere in the future, or you find slowly a situation, uh, then you don't have the problem because you know you can solve it. <laughs> so always, there's no problem. No problem at all. <laughs> I love that. <laughs>